morning, my fellow vloggers. Gosh, I can't even see. The future's so bright, I've got to wear shades. Um, well, good morning. So today is Monday and we are off to two places. We're going to have a quick peek in at the Chelsea job just to see what's uh, going on there. The joinery should be um, in fully now, um, apart from the handles. That's the only other thing and that's because I'm still having a debate with the clients about that. So um, we will have a look at that and make sure that that's all right. Um, other than that, uh, we are going over to the Primrose Hill job. Uh, this is all part of the final remaining act of the Primrose Hill job. So I'm meeting the client over there just to go through um, all the different things uh, that have happened sort of over the weekend. Different prices have come in for the different items of furniture, so I need her to, uh, to decide whether she wants to accept them or not. Uh, and this is ahead of the removal team coming in tomorrow to clear the majority, um, if not all, of the property out. So that's what's happening today. Also this evening, I am off to an awards ceremony. Uh, this is the luxury um, briefing awards um, at the Langham Hotel. So I'm sort of suitably um, formally dressed. It's not black tie um, and it's an invitation which I've had from a good friend of mine. Um, it's not too late, thank goodness, because I've got to be up early tomorrow. So that's going to be, I would think from about sort of 6.30 p.m. It's about 9.30 p.m. so nothing too drastic there. The rest of the week is shaping up quite well. Um, I have I have the Reading job happening on Thursday and Friday. I need to check in with the infamous joiners about that to make sure that that is all on track. The removals team tomorrow um, and then Wednesday I have the fireplace going in at the Chelsea job, the final gas fireplace going in and then after that um, at around about in the evening, about five o'clock, I have a meeting with a new client that could be quite interesting. So I'll let you know how that one goes as well. Other than that, I've got lots of paperwork, lots of emails, invoicing um, and such like to do. I did a fair amount at the weekend, which is great. Lots of video editing for you guys. So all in all, we're on track. Let's get on with the day. So these are the new joinery doors. So they don't have handles on at the moment, but they have obviously inside we have the hanging rails the shelves and the drawers so that's what they look like inside with LED lights and on the outside looking very smart indeed and the existing fridge from here this we are feeding in the water supply for the water and ice which will feed in just down there underneath and will feed into the tap at the top here is the new tap so you can see it's nice bright and shiny chrome and that's going to fit over here. I'm going to see it coming from underneath this bracket here into there. We just need to make sure it fits quite nicely underneath there. And as you can see, bright, shiny and new. Into the garage, just have a quick peek in there to see, make sure that everything is looking good. The carpet is still there. You can see the tiles, which are just sort of sitting nestled underneath. Um, some extra paint and just a few bits and bobs left for me to deal with later. again at the Primrose Hill job. So this has been a rather interesting morning. So I came here to just do a little bit of uh, work and to speak to the client about what her future plans were for the property, um, just to get an idea of times and dates and things like that. So we've had a slight change of plan. Now this does happen occasionally with clients. Uh, they start thinking about different ways that they can utilize the space, uh, what's good for them financially etc etc and for their family as well so um, at the moment what they're thinking of doing is possibly putting this place on the market to see how much they can get for it um, which is fine so it doesn't matter if a few things are left here um, so they can give a little bit of scale to the apartment that's always quite good they don't want a full styling job um, on the property 
uh, so we won't be doing that. So most of the things will be going out the door. Um, but in the meantime, it gives us a little bit more breathing space and it also means it could be an exciting development if they leave here and they want to go somewhere else um, and buy another house, maybe in a year or so's time. Let's see what happens. One thing that I should point out to you here, this is a feature wall. This will be going um, when the place does get refurbished or sold, depending on what happens. Um, but they're quite nice to put in and actually, um, this is a very interesting one. Uh, See so if I can find out the name of uh, the company that actually puts these things in. There are a number of them, uh, so I wouldn't want to give you the one that doesn't, uh, that doesn't work for this particular one. Um, but it is a very nice feature. Um, not everybody likes these types of things, but unless you want to have a piece of art um, somewhere in that sort of vicinity, what else do you do with a wall which is overlooking a staircase that's going down to a basement? Uh, quite difficult to work out what to do. This one draws the eye, it's a little bit different. Um, it's a, almost like a piece of artwork um, on its own, but um, sadly it will be going. I've got quite fond of it. Behind me um, is an interesting feature that has been put in and, and has been put in in order to let more light through to the dressing room. Now the dressing room, as you can see here, is actually behind here. So what they've done is they've actually put a slither of a window. It's um, not quite frosted glass, it's more sort of blurred glass. Um, so you can't actually see anybody getting dressed or anything else. But it does allow the light from down here Although it's not natural daylight, it allows that light to go through so that the dressing room has a little bit of light coming through apart from the overhead lights. Now this is the rug that's come back. This was underneath the dining table so you can kind of see um, there is actually a mark on it. Um, now you can see this sort of outline of the watermark which was just there. The rest of it actually has come out uh, remarkably well. Uh, it's just that watermark, so we'll have to see whether we can do something with that later. Behind me is the main staircase in this uh, particular building. So what we have here um, is a staircase which is quite wide, as you can see here, running along, and it obviously goes up and has a runner on it. Now this has actually been um, repaired. We did actually have a, um, we actually had a leak underneath the tiles that I'm actually standing on, and so we actually had to rip up um, the entirety of this floor um, and then relay the tiles and everything else. Um, it was a building uh, plumbing problem uh, which was remedied and sorted out but it cost a pretty penny for the building, not for us thankfully, um, but I had to put the entire thing all back together again. Um, and this particular stone that you have here is travertine um, and travertine is actually a very good um, it's actually a very good stone to use. It's quite, um, it's quite creamy to be perfectly honest um, and it actually looks quite nice um, with the wall runner that we have, that we have here. Um, it's quite porous, so you've got to be quite careful uh, with travertine, but there are some very good, um, there are some very good sort of suppliers and installers of travertine, so it's uh, well worth finding a good supplier. Um, gosh, it's very bright. It's very bright here, isn't it? I feel like I'm on the stage. There's no business like interior design business. It doesn't have quite the same ring, does it? Also in this property are some recessed stair lights. Now recessed stair lights are actually um, quite an interesting addition. Lots of people have them for stairways now, they look quite swish, um, but uh, these ones are actually have worked quite well. They're LEDs and you can see they're sort of like in, um, in the actually, they're encased actually in the wordwork, uh, in the, basically in the stringing, this is called the, this is called the stringing um, of a staircase. And so what needs to happen here is these don't need to actually be moved whatsoever, the bulbs don't uh, run out and they're just turn, they're simple on and off. They're not on any dimmers, uh, they give a nice um, effect and it means that you can leave them on overnight, especially if you've got uh, younger members of the family and you don't want them to fall down the stairs. Um, the stairs are actually, they're not very steep at all um, and obviously we have a glass balustrade here but um, it's uh, well worth actually investing in if you did want to put some stairs and they don't actually have to be in the wall either. Um, as you can see, these are actually encased in the stairs themselves, actually in the woodwork, uh, the spray painted woodwork. Um, I don't know whether the um, clients will want them to be put in, in for the new property if they do end up staying here. I'll keep you informed. So I think we're done for the day here at the Primrose Hill job. So 
Let's pack up our bags and get moving on to the next project and get ready for tonight's extravaganza at the Langham Hotel in London. <laughs>